Good day everybody, welcome back to the next part of the GTA 4 car modeling tutorial. So in this step we're gonna import the model in. You can use ITS files, STP or object file. It's up to you but I found ITS or step file to work really well. So just import your car model in. First thing you need to do is make sure it's on the right orientation we need to rotate that this button here will let you rotate we need to rotate on the x direction x direction is always horizontal in any of the view so we're just gonna put 90 in the x direction it will spin that around go to the move tool bring it to the middle bring your car to the middle so um, it's easier to work with in the z modeler program Let's go to the top view again and move it to the left. So that's good. That's what we want to do. Now go over here, bring the view forward. Okay, we're going to start to detach the part for your car. Okay, in the um, In the description there should be this list of car part list. The part list. This is a list of parts you need to create for your car. We're going to detach the car to the following parts. You need a chassis which is the frame of the car. Detach all the doors, windows, bonnet, the bumpers, the front and back, the windscreen, boot, shell. Shell is just basically the, the body surfaces, some of them tail lights, wheel and extra. We're gonna keep the model simple so we're not gonna um, go in and talk about the, the other details. There's also dummies. Dummies, you, you don't need to create these. These are just markers on the car that tells the game where to indicate um, overheating, where the exhausts are, where the lights are, where the people sits. You don't really need to create a model for the seats. Actually, you don't need to detach them. You just need to have the seat model as a display. But we, I'm just going to skip the seat because it's just, it will take a lot of time to model and to make the tutorial longer. So we're just going to use the dummies to indicate where the people sit. So this list is on the um, on the video description, so just check there. But let's go back here. So we're gonna um, detach those parts today. Okay, so basically you have your model. Uh, first thing you need to know is that there's different methods to work with surface in 3D Max. There's editable mesh, editable poly, and the initial method. So this method will let you select the surfaces based on the surface you create in the program you work with. And editable mesh, it's gonna create a mesh and it's gonna create lots of little triangles and it will be harder to select. Um, but but it's, um, it's easier to actually attach in editable mesh so if you make a mistake if you forgot a few surfaces sometimes you need to convert to editable mesh because in the initial um, molding method it doesn't really let you attach really well sometimes you attach it moves moves the position but um, I'm just gonna go in and start doing the detaching so if you find any problem, just um, leave a comment, let me know and I might do another detailed video on attaching and detaching so um, I'll just keep this video quick and short so basically we need to attach and detach all the parts on the list number one is the windscreen so select all of that and to detach press this button and we'll detach this to another part we'll give this a name windscreen just give it a basic name 
we're gonna rename these parts to a specific name in Gmodeler but that's later on so just give it any name should be fine okay I'll just do another um, make another part so I'll detach this one and give that a name select that make sure you select, select the part head right left okay see right here I didn't detach the part line I'll show you how to attach the part line to that so go to the surface level select the parting lines and click detach and make sure you select the part lines so make sure the bounding box is fitting the part so headlight part line okay now we can attach let's try attaching this so see how it works so just go pick object and pick the other object and click attach so that actually worked it attached but I le left the other surface there um, you can go in here and maybe delete that yeah okay that actually worked fine okay that's fine but um, sometimes you might need to use a different surface uh, different method to attach and detach so let's say what should I do let's do the other headlights so I'll detach this headlight make sure you select the detach part headlight and detach the part lines take some care when you select this make sure it's you don't make a mistake and select the wrong thing because it will take some more time to fix that let's detach as that as well and I'll name that headlight part line and I'll give this another number okay I'll show you another way to work with this so if I convert to editable mesh when you select things it's it will select the individual surface uh, I'll show you a technique to select similar surface there's a technique called okay actually let me try convert to editable poly go in here select the part line and headlight right select both of them and convert to editable poly in, edit in editable poly there's a technique called selection by angle which is really useful later on when you need to select the more surfaces so select them and go to attach uh, in attached there's a list for you to choose from which is very useful um, I'll just go out of that make sure I select that surface click attach and pick the parting lines and click attach okay let me see if that works uh, yeah you might need to go out, out of the level and do that again Oh, actually it's already worked so select the surfaces and attach from the list and you create your headlights and make sure you give a name that's clear make sure this is label left as well with an L so there you go that's um, I show you what I show you today is how to detach the parts and also how to attach the parts so sometimes you might miss a few surfaces you need to attach 
I'll show you how to attach in the initial level and also attach in editable poly and also how to select by angle and that will um, that will let you go in and create all your parts so I'll show you the what you should have in the final product so you should detach everything and should have a, a um, a car with all the parts detached. Make sure you have only one wheel. You don't really need two wheels. Uh, you're going to import one wheel into Z modeler, but you need to have a frame, a chassis. Oh, that's the body frame. The chassis is. That's my chassis there. Detach the bumpers, front and back as well. But uh, just go in the description for all the parts you need. So these parts need to be separate. So there should be a list in the description of all the parts you need. So go ahead and detach all of that. And what else you need. And then you export this. When you export, make sure it's in the 3ds file. This file, I found this work really well with Zen Modeler. Um, just because there's not much of a problem but uh that's it everybody that's the next part this this step will take you some time but if you have any questions just let me know um i'll appreciate if you leave a comment let me know what you think subscribe so um to get updates of my uh, latest videos so detach all your parts, export as a 3ds file and save into the folder with all your other work make sure it's 3ds and just give it a name save, just click ok when you export did I miss anything else? that's it um, if I miss anything just leave a comment in the description. Uh, that's it for today. See you later, everybody.